All right, so tonight Jude and I are demonstrating how to work on Watch Me and um, build up for a successful Watch Me. Watch Me, of course, is asking for um, attention. So it's asking Puppy to make eye contact with you. The way that we're going to start out by teaching this is, first of all, my hand signal looks like this. It's closed fist, index finger extended, and I just move it from Puppy's direction up towards my nose. As you can see, he's kind of already been working on this. That was very good. Um, the way that I start to teach it is I use a food lure. So I take a piece of food, I close my fist around it, and I extend that finger, and then I show it to the puppy to teach them my hand signal. I'm not saying anything yet. I'm showing them a the piece of food, and I'm bringing it from their nose right up to mine. Yes, good puppy. As soon as I get that eye contact, yes, good puppy, they get the reward. Yes, good puppy. I repeat this step a couple times um, so that I, I can see that puppy understands what it is I'm asking of them. Yes, good puppy. Okay, and then I try moving it up a step. So now I'm gonna to try to remove the food from the hand signal. Okay, I'm still not saying anything, but now I'm gonna use an empty hand signal. Um, removing the food lure early on is ideal so that it prevents the food lure from becoming a bribe, meaning that puppy will only do this behavior if he sees the food in my hand first. That is not my goal in training. Um, I'm still going to reward after he gets his yes, good puppy, but a reward is much different than a bribe, okay? Um, and so we're going to, oh yeah, nice massage. So I'm going to do the next step, no food in the hand, but I'm still going to yes, good puppy and reward for the good behavior. Yes, good boy. Yes, good puppy. Yes, good all right, so now he's doing pretty successful at that, so I'm gonna start adding in my words, which my words are watch me. Oh, that's very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say his name first, followed by watch me, and then I'm gonna immediately do the hand signal. Okay. Jude, watch me. Yes, good job. Jude, watch me. Yes, good boy. Jude, watch me. Yes, good job. So he's doing really well with that activity. Um, and the more I practice putting those that equation together, the more he's going to be able to do it and respond to the verbal cue only and not need the hand signal. So now we're gonna go over um, working on the duration. So for this one, I'm going to ask for the watch me and I'm going to count to three in my head silently so that he doesn't learn to count with me. And then if he holds the gaze for the full three count, I'm going to yes, good boy, and reward. I'm going to gradually, as he does well, move that three count to a five count, and then up to a seven count, and, and further, um, as he continues to do well. Do you watch me? Good boy. Do you watch me? Jude, watch me. Yes, good boy. Jude, watch me. Yes, good boy. Very good. All right, so there I ended at just about an eight or a nine count. Um, you can definitely count at your own speed. And so what I'm going to do, because you can see he was kind of getting a little twitchy, um, waiting for those last couple counts there. So I'm going to stop our training there, and the next time I come back to it, I'm going to start again at that point. Okay, so at that eight to nine count um, is where I'm going to try to start out at and see how much further I can build it in the next training session. I don't want to overwork his brain. Um, and on the same thing is... If I am practicing in the same situation, I'm going to start out at that count. If I am practicing in a new situation, like out on a walk or at the park, I'm going to start out at the very beginning because we're in a whole new situation. Um, I want to make it easy for him to succeed at it. All right. All done, Jude. Good boy. Oh, yeah.